Tanya. I'm the co-founder of Suta. Uh, I have studied engineering and MBA. I don't have a textile background, but when I was working in the corporates doing strategy consulting, I didn't think that this is what I want to do all my life. Though I was getting promotion on time, in fact before time, the pay was good, life was good, but still there was something missing. And hence, uh, me and Sujata, my elder sister, we. Uh, ideated we thought we talked a lot every evening we used to talk and then we thought that let's let's make sure that we impact some lives directly and uh, we wanted to work with, work with weavers uh, then we started researching a lot we started working with two weavers in 2016 and just the two of us now today we are working with 17,000 weavers all across India and I'm very proud of the fact that we're working with them uh, they are so talented there's so much to learn from them uh, and why saris? Uh, because we love wearing saris and we used to admire our mother, grandparents and aunts wearing sari the whole day, especially even sleeping in a sari. It's such a beautiful feeling, you know. And those soft mull cottons, the washed cottons which they used to wear, we used to love that fabric. And when we were in the corporates, when we wanted to buy saris, uh, we used to not get that kind of fabric. It's more fancy, a lot of bling and they used to say young girls. Uh, wear these bling saris, why are you going for these soft saris, this is for older women and we didn't get to buy these things and hence we thought let's start making it and start making these with weavers and that was why we started this. Hello weavers, today we are meeting Tanya, she's uh, so dedicated to her work and uh, she wants to bring in sari as a fashion again. So she's uh, having her old traditions intact and bringing uh, good fashion into yeah. it also. Thank so you, we... thank you so much for such a beautiful I'm very happy to make you come into this environment based channel this environment gives us so many things and uh, we make use of it and we are, have to make it properly restore them and give it to our co coming uh, generations uh, do not just throw away whatever you have try to reuse it that is what the concept now and uh, if we do that we can have a better world for tomorrow i totally agree to this and uh, we honestly try to use and uh, use the resources really well and also to make sure we have less waste, we generate less waste. Uh, at Suta office we have very good practices, we use, even if we use plastic because due to rains the transport, the products can get destroyed, so we use plastic but we don't tear it open, we cut it very nicely, we keep it safely, we reuse it constantly and if it gets torn in between we give it to upcycle in with the rotary and hence uh, this is just one thing that I'm saying, there are a lot of other processes like we hire locally, people can walk to the office so that they don't have to like go from one place to another in a car all the time. Um, we have open offices so that there's good ventilation. So we when we take rent, uh, we take the offices on rent, we always check that uh, there's enough sunlight, there's good ventilation. They're very small things but it, I think in the long run it matters. Thank you. Uh, this kind of practice like not wasting the plastic covers when you open. This can save a lot of uh, landfills, which uh, usually happens in every sh uh, showroom. They open the plastic and this tear and uh, throw that. But this is really good initiative. We should follow this and uh, thank you once again to come and How did you get this name, Suta? Suta. Su, Sujata, Ta, Tanya. It's, a, it's our names. Uh, and it also means thread in many languages. It also means daughters. And hence we thought, when we came uh, with the idea of Suta, the name, we thought this is it. God is telling us that you have to start this brand. And uh, we quit and we started Suta. That's the sweet and short story about Suta, how the name came up. So how do you feel the environment helps you in uh, all the ways uh, living and thing? Can you? Uh, environment plays a very big role in how we do things because all our ideas are inspired by nature. If you see, every product has a name. We started naming our products because we feel that if you know the name and the story of, of a product, you will use it better, you will use it longer, the life of the product increases and you don't discard it easily. That was the concept and if you see, the story is mostly all about nature and human and behavior so do read the stories and let us know how you like it and also i strongly believe that uh, uh, the processes that you have in a business should be uh, very thought through and not mindless and hence we do very everything mindfully in the business and also design our products mindfully
So let's now come and see your products and your exhibition. Oh yes, please yeah. do come. Yeah. This is Peter. Hi. Hi. She uh, is the head of our recalls at the company. And today she is at the billing counter doing the math and taking the money. Yeah. Uh, Tell us how she works on the day. She is the design head and he makes all these beautiful products. Uh, he is also the model at Suta. You will see a lot of pictures of his around. She is Nandana. She is also one of our designers. And if you come to her, she will help you pair and pick uh, sarees and blouses and also help you style it. Hi, this is Nitya. She was uh, working with us as a, as a customer support member wow. and now that we are in Chennai, she has come and she is spending some time with us, also helping you guys pick things. And this is how employee and boss And uh, I have been with Sutha till the time I was a cu customer, then I was an employer, now I am like a lifetime friend of them. So it feels so special to be back here. Thank you. Blouse section. This is these are the blouses that we have. We can mix and match with the sarees. And also, and popular look. You can wear the same saree for the office or a party or a pub, wherever you want to go or a theatre. Um, we can help you uh, pair them. And this is a mild cotton saree. These are all mild cotton. Here we have put the sequin, and this is a metal sequin that we have put. And this is tested saree, and it's it's a um, Environment friendly sari. The new major sari. This is Modal and Disco. These are all natural fiber products. And this is our new launch. You could have seen it. And we make very quirky prints. These are very fashionable cats and tigers. This is the men's day yeah. launch. Uh, we have launched Capsule Collection, which was a super hit. And that's why we have launched more products. This is a Jamdani fabric, hand woven. And this is Anar and an Ulta Anar. So we call this Anarhi Anar. So you can be whatever Siddha, Ulta, whatever. You could be whoever you are and be in your own skin and be comfortable in it. Thank you. Hi, I'm Ash Vardhan. I work as a design head for Siddha. As you can see, I'm wearing a sari. So, sari is just another piece of fabric, right? It comes with no rules, it comes with no gender. So, you could drape it as and how you want. Uh, there is nothing like a man can't wear a sari or a woman should wear a or a woman of a particular age or a body type has to wear it. It can be worn by anybody. You just have to find your own style to create it. And yeah, it's the most comfortable thing ever. So yeah, that's about it. Sari has no barriers. Thank you. It's a <laughs> new explanation given. And it's really, the style is really nice, Thank fashionable. You. Thank you. So that brought back the old tradition of wearing saris. I usually thought that sari is something too traditional and I wouldn't wear saris actually. Since I saw Suda's designs, I got so mesmerized and once I tried out the saris, I feel like so complete and it's so amazing to wear saris and now I love saris.